Yeah, I guess we're recording now. Here we are on the back side of the debarker. I was going to show y'all something. See that? That's the, the bark conveyor. And uh, I had to rebuild all this that you see right here. I turned that shaft down and reused them sprockets. Put new bearings on it. Put a new sprocket there. Turned that down. Cut the keyways in it. I did that in my little little shop up the house. I, I started the video doing it, but I mean, these people are way better than I am that turn stuff and everything, so I figured it'd be kind of boring. And on this side here, when I very first done it, I, I used the same kind of steel that I did on this, and that's real thin. And I didn't have this brace in there. And I cut that on and it just wadded all that up right up in the top. And I had to go redo it and cut that bottom piece and put a brace and everything in it. And that, that pretty much fixed it. It does, it does good now. So we've made all this bark here that you can see. It's pulled it all out of there and done fairly well. And See, there's a pretty good pile of bark there. I guess they, uh, 30 or 40 yards. Here's the old debarker. This thing probably could use a little maintenance on it if we just fix it when it breaks. I know the other day this handle here broke. This little handle right here. And uh, I brazed it back, redrilled drilled it, and it's done good. And you can see where that, all that bark packs up in there. That's kind of aggravating. We have to clean that out <clears throat> about every two or three hours. Over here's some logs. Uh, here's something that we don't cut very much of. And it's sycamore. Got quite, a, not a whole lot of it, but probably a, a between one and two thousand feet. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but it makes pretty lumber and it's pretty good logs. Over there, some more you can see the end of them. this thing right here. It's what these tree trimmers bring in, and just cannot figure out why I won't pay them hardly nothing for it. I mean, where are you going to cut out of that? Toothpicks? And over here is some more of that sycamore. It's that big log on top there. That's a nice log. I'll cut some great lumber. If you are such a thing, sycamore. And there's a couple logs that's been debarked. That's what they look like after we get their clothes off. Them's 10 footers. You can see the deck over there, it's loaded. We're ready to go in the morning. Here's some lumber. We've got a fairly good size order going on. And uh, we're just now getting started on it. It's uh, all pine framing in one by tens and one by sixes. There's some of it. There's some more. And there's some one with 60, 16 foot long. We got all them cut. And here's some oak. As a builder, sold me several feet of logs, good logs too. And he had this oak. And he wanted it sawed. And I told him, I said, that oak ain't no good. Oh yeah, I said, I can make it do what I want to do with it. So I cut it. Spent a bunch of time in it. Now look at that. What are you going to make out of that? Firewood? And now I've got all my time and labor in it, and he won't come and pick it up. And uh, with this custom sawing, that's what you run into. And 
the biggest part of this wind up being firewood. They might be, well, I mean, it's just no good. It's, it's laid here so long, and they ain't two pieces in there worth having now. And we had a little mishap this morning. This motor here. It decided today was its day to die. It blowed up. I was over there sawing away and I looked over here and you couldn't see nothing for the white smoke. And here's the vent. It blowed the hose off of it. Down here's the hose. <laughs> you couldn't see nothing for the white smoke. It, it just went everywhere. And I ain't gonna spend no more money on this thing. I ain't never liked this motor. I've rebuilt it one time. And it's always run hot. It, it just ain't happy as sitting here in one spot. And I just give, I think it was $400. Well, it was 385 to be exact for this uh, governor right here. And when it decided to die this morning, it sprayed oil all over it, all over the side of the motor, all over the side of the chipper here. So, that's pretty much it for that old motor. That's a, that's a 350 horsepower small cam Cummins is the name of it. And that's not the proper injector pump on there. It, it takes a special injector pump for a governor motor with a governor like this on it. And that injector pump is like $1,000, and mine's bad, and it needs rebuilt. And I just, I'm not going to spend the money on it. I'm, I'm on the hunt for a Detroit, and I'll put a Detroit in here. A Cummins is a real good motor. They're an excellent truck motor. Probably one of the best truck motors ever built. But put them in this nasty sawmill environment down here with all this dust and stuff, and it just, just wipes them out. They, they cannot stand it. And uh, I thought I was really getting something when I got this, but all I got was trouble. For that's all it's ever been is trouble. It uh, and burns a lot of fuel. That thing it'll burn just about as much fuel as a sawmill will. It ain't working nowhere near as hard. Now there's our sawdust pile. It's getting up pretty good. We're gonna have to haul some of that off from here. And here's here's her good logs. Them long logs, there's pine, they're sort of cheap. But here's some good walnut, cherry. There's a cherry log got there on the bottom. And uh, next couple weeks I'm gonna have to saw them. Well, they're coming along. There's some more of that oak wood it ain't. Ain't worth nothing. And here in the mill, I'll show you a little stuff now. Uh, mother's in there. I don't know if you can see her. It's so dark cleaning up. Here's old Ledger. It does. It does awful good. And here's the motor that we rebuilt back in the late winter in January. And I was going to show y'all the loading of the pistons and everything. And uh, I, I, I've lost the footage somewhere. I've deleted it or something. Other. It's all gone. But the motor is doing real well. It uh, don't burn as much fuel as it used to, and it's got plenty of power. It it just does. I'm I'm very satisfied with it. I'd like to find another one like this to put on the chipper. That's what I'm on the hunt for. And uh, I found some, but it's all the way in Washington State, and I I don't want to have to go that far. Here's old number two wash tub belonged to my grandmother. That's what she done her washing in. I've got two of them. I've got nothing up the house. We keep old bolts and that. But 
Here's the inside of my office. Winder's dirty. It needs to be cleaned up all over. This is where I spend my time at. There's Mother's sign. Well, she's the boss. So. Now in there's the dust pit and the dust doodler. That's where he carries the dust out of here. There's the belts and stuff. Pump that drives the feed back and forth. Here's, we'll start on them in the morning, saw them. There's about an hour's worth of sawing right there. So that's about it. Talk to you later. Bye.